At first glance, Apple Notes may seem simple, but it boasts nine impressive features that truly shine. Features that even Notion enthusiasts would envy. And what's more, even seasoned Apple Notes users might not realize these powerful tools are right at their fingertips. Now, as a power user of both Apple Notes and Notion for several years, I'm impressed with the latest iteration of Apple Notes and its new features. So sit back, grab a coffee, and let's dive in. If you browse forums like Reddit or Facebook, do you know the number one feature request for Notion? Something Apple Notes users have long taken for granted, offline mode. In fact, I primarily use Apple Notes just for this purpose on my mobile device, and I rarely use the Notion app. I capture all my notes within Apple Notes and later consolidate my thoughts onto Notion. When I'm on a train, I lose signal for long stretches of the ride, and that makes it impossible to connect to Notion, even if I wanted to. So my savior is Apple Notes. When we think of note taking, there are a few fundamental aspects we often take for granted. Capturing text, inserting images, and handwriting or drawing. While Notion excels at capturing text and inserting and cropping images, it falls short when it comes to handwriting recognition or drawing capabilities. With Apple Notes, you can use your finger to draw or write on your mobile device, or you can use the Apple Pencil on your iPad. Your notes syncs seamlessly across all of these devices. The new smart handwriting feature can smoothen, straighten, and make your handwriting much more legible. You can copy and paste the transcribed text into a note or into another app like Notion. Apple Notes can check spelling on handwritten text and even correct it by generating handwriting that looks remarkably similar to your own style. A moving handwriting to a new position or scratching it out to remove it is simple. Now, Apple Notes offers quick entry options that streamline note taking. You can jot down ideas without fully opening the app, even from your phone's lock screen. On the Mac, you can set up hot corners, allowing you to bring up a quick note by moving your cursor to a specific corner of the screen. Now, to enable this feature, go to System Settings. Click on Desktop and Dock and configure hot corners. You can also add to a different note each time by unchecking the Always Resume to Last Quick Note option inside of the Apple Note settings. While Notion allows data entry through something like Apple Shortcuts, it's not nearly as efficient as Apple's Notes quick data entry methods. Now, Apple Notes offers another quick entry option that doesn't require typing, live audio transcription. This feature allows you to record voice notes, presentations, or meetings in real time. Notes provides an audio recording and a text transcript of the recorded content. Now, to use this feature, simply right-click and select Record Audio. A side window will appear, enabling direct audio recording. To pause the recording, hit the pause button. And when you're finished, click on the Done button. Press the Transcript button to view live transcripts as you're recording. The recording will be embedded within the note. Now double click it to preview it. As you play the recording, you'll see a word by word highlight in the transcription synced with the audio. You can click on a specific part of the transcript to play from that point. At the top, you'll find a summary feature that concisely summarizes the transcription powered by Apple intelligence. By tapping the three dot menu, you can enhance your note with various options. You can add the transcription directly, search within it, copy it for use elsewhere. You can save the recording or share it even via AirDrop to your other Apple devices. Or you can save it inside a specific folder as needed. Now, sometimes we need to add more than just voice or text. It might be a receipt from your business trip or a document that you want to save for later. For this purpose, your iPhone doubles up as a document scanner. To scan a document, open a new note where you want to add the scan. Add a title and hit enter. Then you simply tap the three dot menu at the top and select scan. The scanner activates instantly. Hold your phone above the document and it'll automatically capture and clean up the image. By default, it's set to auto mode. Now you can tap this setting to switch to manual mode, which I prefer for full control over the document capture. You can scan multiple documents in one session. After scanning, you can crop the image. Choose your preferred style. Could be color, grayscale, black and white, or photo. Finally, you can hit save and all the scanned documents are saved directly into your specific note. 
You can share this to your Mac with AirDrop or share it with somebody else via email or messages. When you're done capturing, a quick way to organize your notes is by using tags. These tags are distinct from those in the Files app on iOS or the Finder app on Mac, which operate at an OS level and apply to color-coded files or folders. To add a tag inside of a note, simply type the hashtag symbol followed by the tag name. No space is needed. You can choose from previously used tags by typing just the hashtag symbol, which will display a list of your existing tags. You will notice the tags turn yellow, indicating that it has been saved. When you view the side panel in the Notes app, you'll find a tags section. Simply click on a tag that you've created and it'll instantly show you all the notes that are associated with that tag. Notes can have multiple tags and clicking any of these tags will display the note in the search results. Now, continuing with the theme of organizing your notes, smart folders enhance the power of your original folder structure. These folders make it easy to find frequently referenced notes, such as invoices, meeting notes, recipes, journal entries, work documents, or in my case, YouTube scripts. Creating a smart folder is simple. Make a new folder, name it, Check the Make it a Smart Folder option and specify the criteria you want the folder to use as a filter. The criteria can include tags, creation date, last edited date, shared status, mentions, specific folders, or locked notes. You can set the selection criteria to match all conditions or any of them. It's also possible to use multiple criteria for more complex filtering. Now, based on these criteria, all notes that match will automatically appear in the Smarts folder. You can even convert an existing folder into a Smart folder for added flexibility. The Mac now offers a convenient way to perform math calculations directly within the Notes app. Simply type your math equation and press enter. The results will automatically appear in yellow. When using variables, both the variables and the results are highlighted in yellow. The app dynamically updates the results whenever you modify a variable's value. There are a few options you can customize for this feature. If you go to format, then math results, you will see that I've set this to suggested results. You can change this to insert results or turn it off entirely. The last option can be particularly useful if you're taking math notes in class and you don't want the results automatically popping up. You can override the suggested results by typing in something completely different. Previously, to write a specific style or proofread text in Apple Notes, users had to copy and paste content into ChatGPT. Now, Notion gained a significant advantage here with Notion AI, which now natively integrates GPT-4 and Claude. However, Apple Intelligence now enables users to select text click the Apple Intelligence button and receive several suggested options. Unfortunately, Notion hasn't allowed Apple Intelligence to work within this app. To become a power user of Apple's most underrated free app, you should watch this video. And to automate all these shortcuts and introduce macros into your workflow, you should watch this video.